guys. Let's go, guys. Did y'all see that catch? Let's go. Woo! Guys, and welcome to Jordan Michael Fishing. This episode, we're gonna be fishing with a white chatterbait, and um, I got a crawl trailer on it. To start off, I'm gonna go show you guys how to put the trailer on. You want to put trailers on your chatterbait? I promise you guys that. Okay. So I, I already know because I put use this trailer a lot so I already know where the point needs to come out but what you can do is you can just line it up like this and you can see the point needs to come out about right to the second rib back and that is right that is correct see figure out what which how you want your trailer to swim too if you want it to swim see I like this crawl to swim like this they look the same both sides look the same but if you look, if I put it on like that, that's how it's gonna swim. If I put it on like that, that's how it's gonna swim. So they look the same, but figure out which one you want. So we want this one. Our hook's gonna come out the top of this, okay? Stay in there, guide it along. Push it over that holder there. That's it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Uh, hope you guys have good luck. And uh, it's like I'm just kidding. All right, let's get into this. See that catch? Let's go! Yeah. I was trying to get the line off the tree. He ran straight at me, man. I got that hook up in him good. <laughs> Look at that fish, boy. Gotta love these fish, man. Mm. I love these fish. It's good fish, guys. I noticed something, man. When they feed, when they start feeding, all of them start feeding. Not just one of them. I've been trying to figure out what these fish are feeding on. And uh, I think it's crawfish. I threw a frog at it. It did come after the frog, don't get me wrong. But it, it just swirled at it. It did not engage at it. it so what I did was I ran up and grabbed my trusty, trusty friend, white chatterbait, three-eighths, three-eighths white chatterbait. I know, 
if you're running down the bank with a chatterbait, what I do is I just drag it. I drag it just like a jig. I jig my chatterbaits. And I catch a lot of them jigging. So. Do it nice, steady. You don't want to go too fast. It's just a nice, steady um, retrieve with your chatterbait. Now, if I have a crawl trailer, I tend to drag the bottom more. If I have a fish trailer, like a paddle tail, I'll swim it. Um, it just works out that way for me. You want to look as natural as possible. Very sorry about the smudge on my camera right here, guys. Damn it! There he is. Let's go, guys. Let's go, guys. I'm sorry about that, guys. My camera fell off my head. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get it. White chatterbait, baby. White chatterbait. Woohoo! Man, I love these fish. Love them. Let's get it. Now you're caught. Yep. Oh, it's in his eye. That's why. <laughs> it's in his eye. Or this is a girl, but yeah, it's it right in her eye. Oh, just hook out of you. Damn. Yeah, she's gonna lose that eye. She's gonna lose that eye. There she is. There she is. It's okay. It's okay, girl. It's okay, girl. If you get off, oh well. That was a good fight. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Nice one, guys. It's a nice one, guys. Chatter bait. Can't go wrong with it.
Yeah! Hard work pays off. Let's get it. That's the third of the day. <laughs> Hard work pays off. I have been fishing all day long. I come back for the certain feeding windows and that's it. Come back for the feeding windows. It's not the one I've been looking for. He's not the one I've been looking for. But he'll do. Yeah, see this one? Oh, he's big. Ooh. Never mind. <laughs> it might be the one I've been looking for. It ain't no PB though. That's how dark it was in those woods. I couldn't even see how big the fish was. It's a nice one. It's definitely a nice one. Ain't no small fish. Damn, dude. Right past his eye. See, when you set that hook, guys, you gotta set it hard. Look at that. The hook is coming out right there, right, right above his eye. See that? Gotta set it hard. Don't think you're gonna rip the bait out of its mouth. If that's gonna happen, it's gonna happen regardless. Set that hook hard, guys. I say that a lot in this video, actually. not gonna like this open that mouth open that pretty mouth show the camera your teeth Oh, he's flaring. Let's go rinse this guy off. There it is, guys. Nighttime snake. Woohoo! That's what I'm talking about. Just bouncing that chatterbait right off the bottom, guys. Just bouncing that chatterbait right off the bottom. That's it. That'll do it for this one, guys. I guess so. Got some really good quality fish out of this video. Fish out, every fish that I caught in this video was over 25 inches. And um, I fished all day that day, probably eight to 10 hours, and it paid off. Guys gotta get out there. If you wanna catch these fish, you have to get out there and you have to cast more than 20 times. This place is super high pressure. So I, I'm catching them, 
here, you guys can catch them wherever you're fishing at. I promise you that. There's so many people fishing this place, guys. And these fish are super educated in this spot. So, so let me know what you guys think. And uh, I put links in the description below for the gear that I was using in this video. And um, yeah, stay tuned. You got some very good fish coming up. Really good fish coming up. I got a dragon coming up, as a matter of fact. It's great hanging out with you guys. But I gotta go. And just uh, like I say, guys, stay consistent. Stay consistent. And get out there on the water. That's the best advice I can give anybody for snakehead fishing. But please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.